Yo, what up YouTube? Today, we're gonna do something different, all right? I got all of the tool cart tools that I'm gonna do. I got uh, Gus's toolbox coming up. I got Brody's tool cart, and then we're gonna do Edgar's toolbox. And then we have a few more techs that we're, we got their, their toolboxes and tool carts uh, in the shoot to come up and do a toolbox tour on them. But today we're gonna talk about efficiency, all right? For flat rate techs, efficiency is pretty much, it's nine tenths of the law, all right? Uh, if you can't work efficiently, uh, you're gonna have a really, really hard time being a flat rate tech. And there's a few, few tools that I use to make me more efficient. And across the board, these tools will make techs uh, more efficient, all right? So you should always aim at being above 100% efficiency. Last month, I there was a couple weeks where I, one week I did 218% efficiency, and another week, and I, I, another week I did 208% efficiency, but you should always aim, my goal at least, is to be at 150% efficiency. And for me, that's 60 hours, because the efficiency rating is based on a 40 hour work week. So I always aim for 150%, and you should too, because the, the more money, the more hours that you can turn, the more money that you're gonna be able to bring in. So without further ado, uh, these are in no particular order whatsoever. Um, it's just a conglomerate of a few tools that I use to make me more efficient as a flat rate tech. All right, the first ones are power tools all right now you don't have to buy snap-on power tools although snap-on power tools are really nice there is a a definitely uh con to buying snap-on tools uh so to say uh they're super expensive uh the uh, once you get the batteries the tools aren't as quite as expensive they're more expensive than most but uh power tools are just gonna increase your efficiency drastically. If you're an apprentice, uh, one of your first purchases needs to be um, a 3 8 inch um, gun. Uh, it doesn't have to be, uh, like I said, Snap-on could be Milwaukee, DeWalt. I started off with DeWalt, but uh, I have this 3 8 inch gun and it is uh, the rocker trigger and I love it. All right, I am planning on buying a, a screw gun i don't want to get the quarter inch one uh, i want to get a, a a screw gun for like my next future pur purchase but this these tools will definitely increase your efficiency um the first one i bought was this quarter inch and this is my most used power tool out of anything besides maybe a half inch to remove lugs I, I think I use this even more than the half inch because the half inch you're just zipping off four wheels and then I, I use this qu quarter inch for automotive just re I, I will have to rebuild this because the amount of use that I get out of this but like I said you don't have to buy snap-on um, I ended up buying the extended versions of these for those hard to reach places but I started off with the 3 8 inch Milwaukee if you do, you can do like Harbor Freight, but these will definitely increase your efficiency tremendously. Um, just when you're taking off, you know, multiple bolts, uh, it is much better to zip them off with this than to be sitting there cranking it with a ratchet. And like I said, it doesn't have to be Snap-on. I didn't start with Snap-on. Um, you can start small and, you know, purchase a quarter inch quarter inch ratchet and then uh you know from harbor freight you can use that thing till it breaks and then once you get your use out of it you can then get yourself into you know a snap-on or milwaukee etc but these are going to increase your efficiency i have so many ratchets and i don't know why i have the amount of ratchets that i have uh, because whatever I'm, whenever I am working, I am doing whatever I can to get a power tool on, you know, fasteners to uh, take them off. So that is that is the first one. Once again, no particular order.
The next one is going to be wobble sockets, man. Wobble sockets are going to go in conjunction with your, your power tools. Um, I do have some chrome wobble sockets. I don't use them as much as I use my impact wobble sockets. However, I do use my chrome wobble sockets a lot. Um, I would recommend getting both sets. Uh, you don't have to buy snap-on stuff, all right? These are gear wrench wobble sockets. I got these this set from Amazon. I think it was 90 bucks for the 3 8 inch set. My two, uh, my set of chrome wobble sockets are Tecton. I think I got the whole set, I think maybe $115. I don't know, don't quote me. I'll put all the links to all this stuff down in the description so you can check it out. But I would advise against buying snap-on wobble sockets when you're starting. Um, they're just so expensive, man. Like a set of uh, a set of five wobble sockets is like 500 and some, some dollars. It, it, it's expensive. It's way too expensive. Um, I cannot get behind buying snap-on sockets yet. Uh, I really like my Tecton sockets. They, they've they always done me good. Um, my buddy has snap-on so sockets. I, I've used them and, you know, nothing... <laughs> cool there they say snap on on them but i think there's some inexpensive inexpensive options out there that do the job as good you know um so you don't need to spend all sorts of crazy money on sockets most especially when you're starting off man sockets are just they're a money trap you you buy a three eighths inch set and you, you're talking the whole set deep shallow and mid you're, you're talking over a thousand dollars for, for some sockets, but these wobble sockets are a lifesaver, man. Um, anytime you can get a power tool on something at an angle, it means that you don't have to wrench it off, which totally increases your efficiency. So check out these wobble sockets, man. They're on Amazon. Um, if you got a gear wrench guy, we got a gear wrench guy. He warranted out the 15 millimeter for me, uh, because I use the 15 mil a lot. But uh, check these out. They will they will totally increase your efficiency. The next tool I'd recommend getting if uh, you're like I said an apprentice and you're you're trying to increase your efficiency is trim tools. Man, I really like trim tools. I have three different sets from three different makers, but these these tools will really help you when you're taking apart panels and you're trying not to destroy stuff. Uh, like I said, I have three sets of these. These stay in my big box, so this is my backup set. And you can see how dirty this set is. So I, you know, I really use even my backup set a lot. Um, taking off plastic panels, this is an Amazon kit. Um, really, relatively inexpensive. I can't remember how much it was but it can be more than, you know, 20, 30 bucks. But this kind of stuff will really help you out um, when you're disassembling stuff for, you know, repair. So I would recommend getting this, uh, something like this. Like I said, you don't uh, always have to buy the most expensive stuff. I got Snap-on because I have a Snap-on box and I graduated up from this, which is my first set. Um, I use this a lot and then the Snap-on guy had these. I keep these in my main box and you can see pretty much how dirty those are. So I use this probably one of, one of my most used tools is, uh, when, you know, when you go to take fender splash guards off, uh, I just recently purchased these, which they come with a plastic on, or kind of like a rubber. So you don't. You know scratch a panel when you're trying to pluck out the uh the christmas trees or all the plastic clips that chrysler likes to put on them typically uh, i don't know how much i pay for these i try not to look when i when i'm on the tool truck if i need something i try to buy it i try to stay once again away from the expensive stuff but this right here is good enough if you're starting this will get you by on a day-to-day -day basis it comes with you know two types of these plastic clip removers uh, and it comes with all of these plastic trim tools. I still use the plastic trim tools when I need to get inside 
uh, when I'm working on interior, but these tools right here um, will definitely increase your efficiency. The next one is, I did not know this tool existed when I, before I started working um, as a technician. Uh, when I was in the army, we didn't have this, uh, this sort of stuff, but uh, is a vacuum coolant filler. This, uh, this is a snap-on, it's made by Airlift. All of these coolant fillers are made by two companies. You have this style, which is the Airlift. I think Airlift makes it, or somebody makes it for Airlift. But they're two styles, and uh, essentially, I've got Snap-on on mine, so when mine breaks and the Snap-on truck comes, I can get him to replace it, or rebuild it, or replace it, whatever. Um, you can get the same set off of Amazon when, when you're starting off. They're like 150 bucks. Uh, there's two different styles, like I said, this one and the Cornwell Mac style is a little bit different. Uh, I can post Amazon links down in the description, but this is an awesome tool. This allows you to put the whole coolant system under vacuum, collapse all the radiator hoses, and then put the, uh, put the hose inside a coolant receptacle and suck it into the coolant system instead of sitting there for an hour and waiting for the coolant system to burp, this allows me to fill uh, the coolant system and do like a coolant flush, which is an hour, uh, one labor hour. It allows me to do it in about five minutes. So when I do a coolant flush, I I do this, it's five minutes and I get an hour out of it. So this tool right here is just, if you do a lot of thermostats, if you do a lot of coolant flushes, if you do a lot of water pumps, man, this thing right here is, a uh, it, it is a lifesaver. I love this tool. Like I said, I never knew it existed. And you should definitely, if you are an apprentice going into be a technician, this is one of your first purchases that you need to make. And this was one of my first purchases. And the last one is a tool cart. All right. I can't stress how much time you will save if you have a tool cart as opposed to a toolbox you don't have to have a expensive tool cart you can get you know a u.s general like that one and like that one right there my first tool cart was that uh it, it's not u.s general it's harbor freight it was 80 bucks i started out with that i kept all my stuff in that and then i graduated up to that um, I do have a big box running back and forth from my big box to my cart or from the job I'm working on to the big box is just you save so much time not having to do that being able to roll this over to the other side of the shop. I am a believer in the tool carts. The tool cart really really increases efficiency. Um, I, I have three tool carts. I, I'm a little bit excessive. I have my working tool cart, which I keep, um, when I'm disassembling stuff, I'll keep, you know, parts on that. And then this has been converted to my, my fluid cart, uh, fluids. And then I have a bunch of other stuff on there, but a tool cart will really, really increase your efficiency and you don't have to go big you know what i mean you can get something like this which is this is sam's cart um it's a u.s general they're only about 200 bucks i think they just were on sale for 189 bucks but this is good enough you can you can buy a big snap-on box and then just get a little tool cart like this our shop foreman has a big maco 4s but his tool cart is a little U.S. General, and he works out of that, and he uses the his big box for storage. So once again, you don't have to go crazy big and buy, you know, a twenty-seven hundred dollar tool cart. Uh, just get a tool cart; it'll definitely increase your efficiency, and you know, not having to walk back and forth is kind of a big deal. Um, that's about all uh if you guys got any comments let me know down in the description 
Uh, I want to keep these videos coming. Like I said, I got a bunch of more toolbox tours planned. It's hard to get time to do it. Uh, I had the Thanksgiving holiday. We did a bunch of stuff for Thanksgiving and I was gone. So I really didn't get a chance to record stuff. But I got a few more like videos. I'm doing one about the EGR service on the Cummins and why it's important. And then a few other videos uh, I got coming out. I got ideas. But uh, hey, man. Like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think. Tell me, uh, give me suge suggestions of, you know, what, what some stuff that I can do with the channel. Um, the sky's the limit. Uh, I want to do content on a regular basis and stuff. But, uh, hey, let me know. Steve, love you guys. Y'all take it easy. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button.